Ben Lonkle Soul, The Order, Seven Nation, Army. Uh, op Radio 6, Soul en Jazz, het is tien over half negen. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Ja, dat is het vandaag, zeg. Oh, what a beautiful day. Heb je de zon gezien, zeg hey. Het is echt een hele mooie ochtend. De ochtend van maandag 24 februari, die voelt als uh, maandag... Nou, wat zou je zeggen? 25 april? Ja, zoiets, ja, op zijn minst. Uh, en uh, we hebben bezoek vanmorgen uh, bij ons in de studio's. Miss Kendra Morris. Kendra, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you on this early hour. <laughs> have you been in, in a European time zone for a while now? Or? Yeah, for about a month. So. Oh, okay, so... It's no jet lag for you this morning. No, and even if I'm usually I'm a late night person, so if I had jet lag, <laughs> I would still I'd be wide awake right now. <laughs> then this would be late night radio for you. Then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and Kendra, so good to have you on the show. Uh, we really like your song uh, "Concrete Waves," which was uh, our uh, um, uh, uh, well the first thing we heard of you from you. It's the um, uh, first song of the album "Banshee," which is out now in Holland. Um, uh, I read about you that uh, because you're you're a soul singer, you present yourself as a soul singer. Uh, it's the record collection of your parents, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's a lot how it started. Was with their record collection. I would go through it every weekend. I would just go dig in there. They had a crate of them, and then also I listened to a lot of oldies stations as a kid. That I was just drawn to that style of music. What was the music you listened to then? Um, back then, well, yeah. The- It's still the same now, but um, I mean, The Spinners was one of the first bands that just really sucked me in. War, Tower of Power, um, bands like uh, uh, um, Stevie Wonder, Donny Hathaway, Marvin Gaye, Jackson 5. Like you came it, to the red radio station, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I was looking at all like the pictures on your wall <laughs> in the other room. I was like, yeah, <laughs> saw Lee Fields up there. I'm a huge fan of his. And how do you translate that uh, those oldies in your music? Because it's not, uh, it, what well, I can hear it in your music, but yeah. it's, it's not all the same. Well, I think it's important, you know, with anything, like t- to draw inspiration, but also, you know, it's important to represent where you're at in in your time of you know like I try to always represent where I'm at in my life and you know I'm in you know for me it's it's all about just being like uh, it's a daily reprieval of like where am I at today what mm-hmm. what are these aside from the musical influences what are my life influences and that's where it translates into 2014 that's where it you know I think I mean it, it'd be There's a lot of artists that, you know, it, it can be easy to just say, oh, I want to be exactly like this sound from a certain period. But yeah. I think the challenge is like creating something new, you know, something staying with, you know, the changing of the times and making a sound for what you're representing at the moment. Yeah. Well, it, 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 it is new what you uh, what you make on your album. Um, uh, there's one story from a childhood. A childhood was in Florida, I thought. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I was born in California but raised in Florida. So I, There's the story about the karaoke machine. Yeah. That was <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I got a karaoke machine for Christmas one year. And I never used it once to do karaoke with it. Not once. I took it... <coughs> I took it to my bedroom and then I had this little closet and I just dragged it in there and I had all these like cassette tapes that were laying around and I learned that if you put tape over the top of a cassette tape, you can just record over it. So I was like, oh, I never have to buy another blank tape again. I'll just (laughs) record over all the... And I ended up recording over some of my parents' tapes and they weren't so happy. But I learned that with the karaoke machine, you know, you... You record onto one tape and then you put it over to the other side because with the karaoke machine, you could make your own karaoke demos. And yeah. instead, I would just take it to the other side. I was like, ooh, I can record on myself. And then I just started going, bouncing back and forth, taking all these tapes and being like, now there's three voices of me. Now there's four. <laughs> and so... Creating I, harmonies. Yeah, and yeah. that's how I, you know, that is really one of the major ways I learned how to... To um, do vocal arrangements, and that's something I, it's really apparent in Banshee, you know. But I've been, you know, before I had started working on an album of that caliber with like the full production, mm-hmm. working with a producer. I used to produce all my own stuff. I had an eight-track in New York too, 
And it was always like I would just have maybe two basic guitar lines, but then the rest of the tracks I would use to build a song with the vocals, you know? Because You're like Stevie Wonder. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> There's just so much. I mean, it's it's the one natural instrument as humans that it's that we have it's it's something that you're born with and yeah. so there's no reason you can't create an entire work with your voice it's not what you can do here this morning because you only have one voice well That's i guess true. you may have three i don't know you're uh, have you, have yeah you ever heard the throat sing or have you ever heard those like the throat singers though and um I saw like part of a documentary. Uh, that sound. Yeah, yeah. They're kind of making a few voices. Like, yeah, that's oh. true. Yeah. <laughs> But I can't do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who did you bring uh, this morning? You're a musician. Um, I brought actually Jeremy Page with me on guitar who actually produced Banshee mm -hmm. and co-wrote um, that album with me and Sam Merrick, my drummer, who is on that album as well. On this early hour, um, uh, I guess uh, I'm going to send you out onto uh, our hallway to play. What will you be playing first? We're going to play Concrete Waves. Concrete Waves, a single. Cool. Uh, thank you very much, Kendra. Um, uh,